most obvious perspective is, is, is a founda foundational perspective of releasing value from the process, right? And efficiency in transacting business is what, for 30, 35 years, we've really focused our efforts on. And I think we've made tremendous progress in that time. But for in large measure, it's been an internal process improvement. Most of our processes improvements are contained within the walls of our, of our own business. And so I think there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on the placement side of the business, on the issues that are market facing to our brokers, customers to me, and to our end customers, the policy holders out there. There's still a lot of work to be done on that level. And there's different activities that we're going to discuss over the next couple of days that perhaps can get us there whether it's Darwin, whether it's Sorrento, whether it's Catarlis. These are ideas that I think really need to be explored in a collaborative session if we're going to be able to really truly change the nature of the paper route for our customers. Business on the move, I think the, company, I think we, the industry's made tremendous strides in this arena uh, with uh, tablets and 3G capabilities. Instantaneous decision making is now available to us. And that's, not the case, that's never been the case in our industry. So that's a real positive. Governance and compliance, there's not a CEO in our business that doesn't have this as one of their top elements of concern and focus. You know, solvency two, sanction compliance are all elements that require quality information for us to manage those risks. Data quality. Uh, data quality is the life's blood of, 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 of long-term profitability, right? It's much more important to me and to, I think, the commercial sector than big data ideas. Quality data is, is what we absolutely have to have if we're going to be able to sustain profitability in the long run. And more and more relevant information is a cousin of that issue. Uh, we need to continue to be able to mine more and more data if we're going to be able to grow our businesses in, in some of the new emerging territories and some of the new segments that we, we want to serve. Examples would be medical malpractice, life science, and the energy business. If we're not able to continue to pull data and pull information forward, it will slow our ability to service these emerging industries. And so we see uh, some restrictions being applied to uh, data elements uh, due to privacy concerns from Brussels, from the UK, from the United States. And they certainly have elements that we all are sensitive to. We all understand the need for privacy. But there's also another element that has to be balanced and this is what I, I mentioned earlier. We need, to, we need to take a stake in shaping this debate so that as, as decisions get made about privacy, uh, our, our need for information that takes businesses forward is part of that conversation. And the last one, and arguably the most important one, is IT and technology becoming more aligned with the quantitative sciences of the business, meaning the actuaries. The actuaries aren't such bad guys, believe me. Um, but we need to align more closely with the actuaries to build what I would say the underwriting decision-making process out. Uh, because if you get the underwriting process right, everything else is a lot easier. And what I mean by that is if I have underwriters that are able to select the right risk, price it appropriately, get the right terms and conditions on the risk, and partner with the right broker, the expert broker, then everybody else in my company is going to be maximizing a really good situation. They're going to be maximizing profitability. But if the underwriter gets it wrong on any of those components that I mentioned, then all everyone else can do in claims, legal, finance, actuarial, all the other staff functions, all they can do is mitigate a bad situation, is mitigate damage done at the front end of the business. And so IT and technology helping underwriters make those right decisions and get the right price done is absolutely paramount to our long-term success.